sir. I think Desermore the Warrior will be here soon to turn in your sixth training quest. Oh, excellent. I love when those little noobs use that tiny sword I give them to carve up trees. Wait, did you say sixth? Yes, sir. He's just finishing up the 30,000 dark stumps right now. 30,000? He's killing 30,000 dark stumps with that tiny sword? Well, he upgraded to a small mace. Then there was something about a book with a pig on it, but I didn't watch that episode. What the hell are you talking about? I have five quests. I make them kill a few stumps, then a little more, then they kill the stronger ones to feel like they've achieved something. And then you make them kill 30,000. No! They'd, they'd be like level 35 by then. That's ridiculous. Who in the world would want to kill that many dark stumps? This is Desermore, my dexless warrior Iron Man. I've challenged myself to play as much of Maple Story as I can while only putting level up points into my strength stat. Because those points aren't being put into dexterity, my accuracy is a bit too low to play the game normally. Despite this, I'm on a mission to gain accuracy by any means necessary, without buying it or receiving help from other players. The methods aren't always the most conventional, but I've made a lot of progress over the past few weeks. And at the end of this journey, I'll be attempting to solo one of the game's hardest bosses, Zakum. Check it out, guys. The Dexus Lawn Mower. This has been so fun. It is so much better farming all of these stumps when you run at the speed of sound and one-shot them and you're just jumping everywhere. It's so much more entertaining this way. It's actually so entertaining that now that I'm like pretty much just always in the air, I'm not even I'm not even picking up my drops anymore. And that's fine. I mean, it's just a few mesos at this point. I've already made so much money, it's not like any of this is really a drop in the bucket anymore. Still haven't found any crazy drops uh, from Stumpy or these guys. Been kind of dry for a while, no, no glove scrolls. I guess they're a little salty that I killed them so much faster now, they're just being stingy. But it'll come, it'll come. Drops always come. So while killing Stumpy, the map he's on also has normal axe stumps and dark axe stumps. The normal axe stumps, I believe, drop Aura Halkin Ore. I've had my eyes on Aura Halkin Ore for a while now, because apparently there's a really old quest in Showa Town that rewards you with a bunch of random crap, essentially. But on that list of garbage, there are actually some really, really good items that I'd potentially want to use in my series. So I've kind of kept it in the back of my mind that if I get 100 Aura Halkin Ore, I'm going to give that a shot. But because I've already gotten a good amount of it. I was gonna see if I could forward that agenda a little bit. And that's when I remembered there's actually a jump quest in the game that rewards ores. It's John's Pink Flower Basket, and I'm pretty sure a few others too, but John's Pink Flower Basket's a very easy jump quest you can do starting in Lith Harbor. And you just, uh, there's like a little puffball forest you can jump through. And the cool thing about this quest is when you do it multiple times, instead of just getting the 30 screws reward that you normally get, you can start getting random ores too. So I figured I could do this to just slowly get ores over time, because I do like this jump quest, it's pretty fun. But that's when I learned the hard way. This server actually doesn't give out the ore reward, unfortunately. So my only option here, if I wanted to farm or a Halcon ore right now, I figured was probably going to be killing slimes in Alinea. And that wasn't very good. The drop rate of ores in general is just bad. I did give it a shot. Ultimately, it just wasn't fast, so I, I went back to just farming scrolls in the meantime. However, I was lucky enough to find a cape for deck scroll from those slimes. Not going to use it right away, because I think oh. I might have some other ideas for how I want to scroll yes. the cape, but I am going to hold on to that for now, and it was a very lucky find. Anyway, back to progress. Nice. I'm roughly 80 Stumpy kills in at this point, and I haven't gotten one overall Dex 10 scroll. I did find one Shoe Avoid scroll and one Glove Dex 60 in the process, but the drop rates on all three of these seem quite low. Oddly enough, I've found plenty of the other scrolls this guy drops, like Cape Ant 60, and I've actually found seven one-handed attack 60 scrolls. Having a juiced up whip was on my list of things to do, so I went ahead and sent them. Oh! <laughs> okay. Alright. And after that, I dejectedly got right back to farming Stumpy, but very quickly my luck started turning around. <laughs> oh 
no way. No way, no way, no way. I got my first one. Yes! <laughs> Wait, I need space. I need space, quickly. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is such a relief. The only one I've seen drop so far was literally someone else got the kill. I'm so glad that this guy... Uh, this guy had the timers for this boss, but he uh, he's letting me kill them because I guess he only wants the card, so I'm just going to let him have that part. Oh, that would have been so sad. That would have been another case where someone uh, got a kill like while I was right next to him and he got the scroll, but I didn't. Holy cow. Right. Probe number two. Let's give it another shot. Come on. 10% chance. Let's go. Ah! Ah. Dang it. After all this, though, something terrible happened. I played a different game while I was waiting for Stumpy to spawn one night, and somehow that caused my video for the rest of that play session to freeze up. And while the video was frozen, something huge happened. I'll just let you listen. Oh, shit! I totally missed that. I just got a scroll drop. Send that shit. All right, Winston, buddy. You know the rules. I put on the gloves. I scroll the gloves, and they work. <gasps> oh, it actually worked. Oh, <laughs> it worked. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Okay. One scroll down. Oh my goodness. That means I have... Okay, I've got one glove dex here. I need three more. Oh my gosh! I actually got it! I got my first 10% dex scroll to work on my gloves. And the goal I've spent two months working on was just reduced to audio. I wanted to give up. I thought if I can't show anyone's eyes what happened, there's just no point anymore. But I thought about it some more, and I spent level 15 through 31 on dark stumps only, and then again at level 35 through 39, and one more time from the end of 47 to 48 and a half. After removing my stumpy kills and a lot of axe stump experience, the XP required to make all these level ups is about 50 thousand dark stump kills and you know what that's just the beginning there's so much more I need to earn before I'm ready for Sakum. rather than throwing in the towel over a recording bug I'm gonna keep pushing and that's all I've got to say on the matter here's how everything went down after that oh this is weird this is really strange I already have my scroll from these but I just I'm so in the habit of fighting them every time I see them. There's no point anymore. Here we are at Red Snails, my dudes. I didn't want it to have to come to this, but now that the grind for Glove Dex 10 is over, these are the only option I have right now besides Stumpy if I want overall Dex 10 scrolls. I still don't have enough accuracy to do much else but track these down, so I'll be here for now in between the Stumpy runs. These are especially a pain because this is their best map, and they only really occupy about half of it. A lot of the spawns here are just normal stumps, which means the kills per hour and therefore the scrolls per hour will be very little compared to dark stumps. So uh, I estimate I'll be spending a lot of time here and hopefully the RNG is merciful. That is so disappointing. It should, in my opinion, it should actually just be illegal for anything that drops a 10% scroll to drop yellow stuff. You know how many times something like this drops and it just looks like this? It's beautiful. And then you realize it's just a stupid t-shirt. <laughs> so, just out of nowhere, I've, I've kind of accepted... This guy hasn't said a word to me. He's just kind of gesturing me in certain directions, but... This has turned into an escort quest of sorts. I don't even know why he wants to go this way, but I'm just making sure I kill everything for him. He he just thanks me by 
tap in the floor or something. We going this way, buddy? Oh, where'd he go? I guess I completed the quest. Alright. I'll be taking one overall dex 10 scroll, please. New shield? What is this? Hat? Oh, it's got more defense. Upgrade, baby! Upgrade at the level 4s. Here it is. Number... Do I have this right? Four. Yep. Number four. That's all of the glove decks I'm going to need from Stumpy. It really wasn't why I was here. It was just kind of like a side mission kind of deal. It's nice that to have it. I'm going to scroll this in a sec. Oh, wrong button. I'm going to scroll this in a second. Um, but that just leaves one more shoe avoid scroll, and then however many overall dex tens it's going to take to get out of here. Okie dokie, let's slam them. Four sixty percent. I'm, I expect two of these to work. Three! Not bad, not bad! Oh my gosh! This looks so juiced! Six decks, 11 accuracy on one piece of gear. Oh, I just took him off. I'm stupid. Ooh, up to 51! With Sniper Pill, that's 61. That is so fat. I didn't plan this next part beforehand, but 61 accuracy was actually quite special. Now that I've gotten all the easy sources of accuracy, a glove upgrade was one of the only ways to boost me up the necessary stats for the next phase of the plan. To help illustrate this boost, I'm whipping out the accuracy chart again. Here's where we saw it last. And here's the breakdown for a level 48 warrior with 61 accuracy. The levels have helped the most between the two for uncovering more spaces, but what's much more important is the fact that Dio, the third boss on this list, is now highlighted in light yellow because I can hit him with an 84% hit rate. Dio has excellent drops, so rather than stick around for the overall 10 deck scroll, I decided that it was finally time to move on. Well guys, uh, I did a few more hours of red snails, but I didn't have any luck. I looked around at all my numbers again, and I've decided to have a change of pace. No more stumpy, red snails, or dark stumps. It's the end of an era. I'm graduating from Pyrian. With these awesome new gloves, I don't think I need to stick around anymore to acquire more decks, and I'm gonna head back over to the cactus in Arian. Back at cactus, good to be back. I really didn't expect this part too. I, uh, from the whip upgrades, and just the level up since I've been here, I'm very close to one-shotting these as well, just like Dark Stumps. Meaning this is actually going to be like a much, much, much more efficient grind than before. I was hoping for it, but I didn't really expect it, because honestly I didn't do any math to see if that would be the case. See that just barely survived. Super close to just one-shotting all the time. It's probably only going to take one or two level ups, honestly. Um, but with 40 speed and the ability to one-shot these, this is going to be so quick, honestly. So I'm looking for 8 uh, overall deck 60 scrolls, which I'm also going to be able to get from Dio, the cactus boss. Oh, he is here. Lucky me. Then I guess I'm getting my first Dio kill. Heck yeah. Anything? Oh, staff scroll. I think that's staff. People use staff still? I don't know. Anything that has staff and wand and just uh, like int scrolls in general gets a lot more foot traffic than the other bosses. Maybe we'll see some mages around here. Not bad for first kill. Kill number five. I only got the scroll in the first kill, it sucks. Someone else uh, got one of the channels. That... Oh, nice, leveled up. 49. Man, I love this spot. Even though I don't actually one-shot yet. Oh, I gotta put my points in strength, actually. Maybe I will one-shot now. Even though I don't one-shot, 
it just like it feels so smooth even though I don't even have a good route through this place yet I feel like I kill so many and because they're worth uh, about three times as much XP as dark stamps I get to level up here too man this spot is so good oh I see that it's trying to hide give me this <laughs> seven more I like that I can just count them down like that with the overall uh, dex tens and the glove dex it was always just eh. Maybe this counts as progress, but now this is definitely progress. <gasps> oh, no way, no way. Is that it? Overall armor? Uh, Dex! Woo! Alright, six more. Oh, wait. What? This is so quick. Huh? Four already. I haven't even leveled up again. I'm 50%. I got another one from Cactus and then one from Dio. Wow. This is going a lot faster than I thought. I'm speedrunning. No. Oh, yoink. <laughs> no way that just found another one, dude. I still haven't leveled up. This is so fast. I'm not sure if I'm just getting really lucky or if the odds are way better than the other schools I've farmed in the past. When I uh, when I was doing the drumming bunnies, they I think they only dropped one scroll and it was a gun attack scroll. For like the 10 plus hours I was there, I found four of those. So, like, at this rate, if I did cactus for 10 hours, I would... Honestly, I'd probably have all my scrolls already. Because I've been here for... Dude, maybe I've been here an hour and I found three. That is nuts. Three, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay, okay. Please be Dex. Please be Dex. Ah, another luck. Darn. Oh, hell yeah. That's another one for the books. What are we at? Ooh, there we go. Oh, man. One more. That's so crazy. This is so much easier than stumps. Wow. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I told myself I wouldn't sleep until I found it. Thankfully, Cactus is the most generous monster in the game. Unlike some monsters. <laughs> Drumming bunny. Well, that was weird. I was up very late that night, though. So, uh, I guess that's just what happens, huh? That marks the nine overall deck scrolls, though. So in the next episode, I'm going to be connecting all the dots and putting all the scrolls on a rope, hopefully, or at least I'll let you guys know what the plan is for that. So uh, stay tuned for that, and thank you guys so much for watching. See ya.